Hey, need some Madden coins? Check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. They got the best prices, they got fast delivery, and 24-7 custom support. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Texas, and it's almost golden ticket time. Now, for those that don't know what golden tickets or ultimate tickets are, every year since, what, Madden 13, maybe Madden 12, even, EA drops these cards into the game that you can pull out of packs, and if you're lucky enough to pull a golden ticket or an ultimate ticket, you get to choose which player in this game you upgrade to a 99 overall. It's a fun time. This year, I got a bunch of coins on my account. When that day comes, bruh, we are going to be ripping a ton of packs. But until then, let's go ahead and talk about what players you should make if you are so lucky to pull a golden ticket. So today, we'll be talking about the best out of position golden ticket players you can create over at Mad Ultimate Team 18. I got five choices. Post down in the comment section below who you guys would create, but I got five choices that I think are gonna be solid. Now, I gotta go ahead and make a caveat right now. We're not gonna do Bo Jackson, obviously, but the Bo Jacksons are just crazy. Look at this, man. Bo Jackson at any position would be just absurd. Unfortunately, we can't do linemen or kickers or punters. That was one of the rules for some reason. I guess the line would exploit the fact that guys don't block no matter what the ratings are. You could have 99 everything and still get beat by aggressive gold linemen because that's how Mad Ultimate Team works with the coaching adjustments and all that nonsense. So Bo Jackson line would be kind of crazy. But imagine this guy pulling on like toss plays. It would be crazy. It would be ridiculous. But we're not going to choose Bo because Bo at any position would just be crazy. Bo at free safety with secure tackler, strong safety, secure tackler. Uh, cornerback secure tackle. Hit power block shit would just be obnoxious. Only Bo Jackson that wouldn't be worth picking up would be left outside linebacker Bo if he was a golden ticket because Von Miller's over there and you don't want to bench a guy that gives you a boost to block shit if you guys happen to have him on your team already. So it, yeah, so Bo Jackson, we're not going to feature at all during this. Now let's go ahead and get into the five choices starting with the defense first starting out with cornerback randy moss out of position now this card has the potential to be crazy with the way ea has done ratings this year uh it goes up pretty much plus ones and twos when they go a little higher overall just so that way we don't get that nonsense we got last year where we got 89 overall to a 95 which is all plus ones this year plus ones make sense because the cards aren't going high overall so if we were to increase randy moss's ratings by six to a 99 overall which is not going to happen but there's a very good chance this card might have close to 99 speed you'll probably have 97 speed unfortunately i don't think you can keep the zero chill element so he's not gonna get the uniform speed boost which would be kind of cool if he could but probably 97 speed which at cornerback is still top tier and then pretty much to make this guy one of the most dominant cornerbacks in this game all you would have to do is obviously just increase his block shit and give him secure tackler. That's pretty much all you need to do. What you can do is increase his physical stats, stuff that can help you in run support, power move, block shift, finesse move, stuff like that, the way he can actually get off the block over there against the receiver. But a six foot four cornerback with 97 to 99 speed, 91 zone, which is the threshold, it's secure tackler and decent block shed is going to be a problem. Guys, pull a golden ticket and you want to make a card that could potentially be super annoying to go against and also really fun if you have them, Randy Moss is top of my list. Now, a lot of the choices are going to be defensive players, most because that's the most fun I have playing Madden. Offense this year is not really that hard. If you run a lot of the bunch plays, a lot of the toss and pitch stuff, you can pretty much have a successful time, but I have more fun on the defensive side of the ball trying to stop my opponent from running those cheesy stuff. So it's going to be biased towards what I like to do when I play in the game, but you guys may have different opinions about what you guys like. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get to the next choice. There's going to be two cards that could potentially be amazing. Uh, it's going to be cornerback Michael Vick. Same reason I picked the cornerback Randy Moss guy with the crazy speed. Give him a secure tackler. That zone increase. This guy could be good at stopping the run. And you'll be good to go there. But the main guy is going to be halfback Michael Vick. And the reason we're talking about this guy is because I just did a comparison to Michael Vick compared to 96 new Jamal Charles that just came out. And this Michael Vick, if he were to get a 7 overall increase, would probably be the best and most shiftiest halfback in Madden this year. So, right here's a comparison between Jamal Charles replay and Michael Vick. Basically, the same Kims. And you guys let me know what you want here. Because, like, if I'm choosing based off price, 
got to factor in that this Michael Vick is absolutely much better than Jamal Charles. You're seeing some sixes here with stuff that doesn't matter. 66 strength versus 60, that's not that big of a deal. Strength doesn't matter to begin with. I know somebody's posted down in the comment section below your text. Strength actually matters. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. Don't let the motherfuckers lie to you. I know I cuss. My apologies. Don't age gate this YouTube. But don't let them lie to you, man. Like, strength does not mean a damn thing in this game, unfortunately. But yeah, you're not really seeing anything that matters. The awareness, which doesn't matter. Using the card, catching down by two. But the top tier threshold for catching is at 90, I believe. So 86 and 84 is basically the same. And you got stuff like trucking, which is up by two. Elusive up by one. Bar carry up by four. Like, you're, you're pretty much not seeing anything crazy. The only thing Jamal Charles excels at would be probably catching the ball in traffic if you see a plus 15 there. But that's pretty much it. I guess release as well, but 77 is still not nothing to write home about. And so I'm looking at this card, Michael Vick, and I'm like, okay, Michael Vick would be fantastic. Fantastic. Now, I got obviously you don't keep the traits, y'all. Y'all big old traits. Uh, I don't care about that. But just looking at this card from Stack's perspective, he goes up seven overall. He could be potentially the best half back in this game, which is kind of crazy to think that a lot of the best half backs in Madden came out of the Christmas promo. That's I don't think they pay attention to ratings. I think they just put great stuff on cards because there's no way this Vic should be a 92 overall when he compares this closely to this Jamal Charles. Now, what I would do with this Vic to make him kind of glitchy is to get rid of his Energizer, which was very important at the beginning of the year. I had a lot of guys on my team with Energizer, that Todd Gurley and that Mike Evans, I'm sorry, that Mike Wallace, because it was fun just faking guys out, keeping your stamina and just running for six. But since they tuned all of that, you really can't cheese it as much anymore. So I would get rid of the Energizer and give him Playmaker or give him Never Stumble, because I think those are the two best offensive kims for receivers and running backs in this game so that's what i would go with right there and then increasing his stats really is not much you can do maybe the catching make him type like a, a alvin kamara type back where he has high catching good route running all that good stuff you want 91 route running, all that so he'll be he'll be amazing uh, unfortunately there's no way you can get his trucking that high i don't believe i think if you were to tag his trucking as a thing you want to increase i don't i doubt it goes up to i doubt it goes up to like what what is that 89, 90, I don't think it goes that high. That's 15 points. I don't think that's possible. So he'll just be a crazy shifty back that you can occasionally line up at wide receiver. And that would be fun as hell. So Michael Vick, cornerback and halfback are two fantastic choices for those looking to make golden tickets. Now these next two choices is kind of a toss up because like it depends on what you want. But it's between Rob Gronkowski, out of position middle linebacker. We got one of these cards last year who people maintain was the best user because of his height and we also got this kellen winslow who was also a guy who was tall who could be a crazy user now i'm leaning towards gronk because when they make you want you make a golden ticket it's better to start with a lower overall because he has to do a lot more to make these cards crazy good so gronk will have to go up 13 points to be a 99 overall whereas kellen winslow only has to go up by what is that? Six points? And we've seen what they done with Ultimate Legends. Like, Michael Vick went from a 93, I believe, to a 97. And his stats are pretty much not increased as much as one would like. And so, Kellen Winslow, while I think if he goes up, what, six points? 92 speed be crazy, good height, better block shed. I think that Gronkowski going up 13 has the potential to be a little bit better. So, like, right now, if they were to increase his speed by 13 points. 93 speed, be crazy. Increase his block shed by 13. Not, that's, what, 96 block shed? That's, that's good. Whereas Kellen Winslow only going up by 6, so it'd just be 88. Now, obviously, you could tag certain points to increase certain ratings, but I think Rob Gronkowski, the linebacker, golden ticket would just be crazy. You give him secure tackler. Don't give him hot hands. Don't give him pick specialists. Don't give him any of these dumb chemistries on fake balls. Just secure tackler. Because pretty much is all you want in Madden this year. You want a team full of secure tacklers since the run is so heavy. And... It's so frustrating when you got a guy who has a running back in the backfield who has unfakeable and doesn't complete the tackle, and then he just keeps running and gets more yards out of it. So you want to give him a secure tackler. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If you're feeling like you want to use this guy on offense, maybe like a playmaker type kid, but middle linebackers at tight end don't work like they used to back in the day. So I would avoid that. But just secure tackler on this card, increase some important points like zone coverage 
maybe some more block shed stuff and i think you will have yourself a user for the rest of the year gronkowski has the potential to be great obviously get rid of that physical that toughness because that's trash give him a physical front and you'll be good to go another offensive player i couldn't pass up and that's going to be quarterback terrell Pryor. it seems like every year he gets a quarterback card last year madden 17's car was much better than this year's version but I'm looking at this guy's stats, similar to Gronkowski. If he were to get a 9 overall, they would have to do a lot to make him a 9 overall. And I think he would touch all the thresholds you want in a quarterback, especially if you tag accuracy as stats you want to see them increase. Because pretty much all you need to do is get his throw power above like 93, 94, you'd be good to go. But more importantly, I get his throw short, throw mid, throw deep at least to like 89, 91. That's what you want. If he goes up by 13, which is probably not going to, I keep mentioning that number because that's what overall has to go to your 9 overall. If he goes up by 13, they increase stuff by one, it'll be 93 throw short, 91 throw mid, and then 89 throw deep, which would be great. And then you give him uh, the physical front, I mean, sorry, go deep times two. That's 91 plus his throw power. The speed gets increased as well. Then if you want to tag some more points on his elusiveness, his juke move, all his running back stuff, he might be very similar Actually, probably better than Michael Vickers. For one, he's bigger, which means he can break more tackles when he's running the ball, not gonna fumble the ball as much. He'd probably be a little bit slower than Vick, but better accuracy-wise. I think this guy, if you were to go to ticket Aaron Rodgers and go to ticket Terrell Pryor, I think Terrell Pryor would be better, but it all depends on if EA gives him the throwing thresholds. Um, now, with the chemistry, the ability, conductor or gunslinger? That's kind of the choice that you have, conductor or gunslinger. I'm, pro I'm partial to gunslinger, uh, but I don't know if it's that important anymore. Being able to make adjustments on offense seem to be the move now, especially everybody on defense is doing kind of the same thing, same setup, and it requires a lot of different hot routing and different adjustments to end up knocking out the coverage that he's playing. And so what I would typically do as Vic calls me while I'm recording this video, shout out to Vic, uh, is probably go conductor just for that reason alone. But if this guy does get a 13 overall increase, like if they, EA does this card right, because EA has been known in the past to do some dirty things to some golden tickets. Like they, they make these cards kind of worse on purpose just so they're not overpowered. But if they give him the upgrade that he would get or I would give him if I was making code and ticket. This could be, if not, the best quarterback in Madden. And last but not least, free safety, Calvin Johnson. Whew, this card could be insane. Six foot five user. Put him in a speed package, play him a middle linebacker, use him across the middle of the field, give him the secure tackler, increase his block shed, and you don't got to worry about anybody else throwing over you because according to Gut Fox, he can intercept the ball 17 yards where the ball is being thrown to, which is a crazy catching radius. So, oh, Calvin would just be scary to see right there. But that's my list. Those are the golden tickets that I would make if... I was only limited to out of position players. Post down in the comment section below who you guys are create. More of these are on the way. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified when I go live or when I post a video. It's been your boy Texas, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.